Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Good afternoon, Eastern Iowa. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Danny Cassidy. After a very wet morning for the southern half of our viewing area, rain and storms are starting to taper off a little bit. I think for the rest of this afternoon, we'll have kind of just isolated showers and storms throughout the area as a warm front continues to move from the south and the southeast. So not expecting any washout conditions, at least widespread. But again, some showers and storms could be possible through this evening into the overnight hours and into early tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, a line of showers and storms should be approaching our northern areas there. Could produce some heavy rain at times. We'll have a break during the afternoon, a little bit better of a chance for us during the afternoon and evening, later afternoon and evening. Overall tonight, low temperatures are going to be in the upper 60s and low 70s, a light easterly wind, and it's going to be a little bit on the muggy side with those isolated storms. Dew points are going to be in the upper 60s or mid 60s overnight, and then we'll jump back into the upper 60s and low 70s for tomorrow. High temperatures tomorrow along and north of Highway 20, the mid to upper 80s, south of there, low 90s for the most part. That chance of storms is mainly for our northern areas, but some could creep into our southern area, especially overnight tomorrow night. Southwest wind there about 5 to 15. So with tomorrow's chance, only level 1 for the northern half of our viewing area, the best chance is going to be off into South Dakota and northwest Nebraska there. But with this level 1 risk, we could see maybe some gusty winds and small hail at times, and this would be during the afternoon and evening hours for us. Tornado chances on the very low side. Of course, can't rule out a tornado, but I'm not expecting any tornadic activity with tomorrow's storms. Saturday, we do have a level two risk. Most of that again is in far eastern Minnesota and much of Wisconsin, but locally here, our northeastern areas are under that level two risk. Main threats right now could be all three of them at this point, but we'll get a much better idea tomorrow as we get a little bit closer into that outlook. But let's go through future track for Friday and Saturday, just to give you an idea of the timing of this rainfall. So we'll pick it back up here at noon. Again, we'll see a little bit of a break during the early afternoon, but then later in the afternoon, We'll see these showers and storms kind of form along the warm front as it continues to lift north and some could be on the stronger side there and most of that is north of highway 20. then through the overnight hours again we could see more showers and storms start to form and most of it to the north but some could trickle into our central and southern areas as well we'll have a little bit of a break i think during saturday afternoon early and then during the late afternoon early evening hours a cold front will be approaching from the northwest and we'll see those showers and storms again some could be on the strong to severe side especially north and east and that'll move through, I think, by midnight, Saturday night into Sunday. And not only is it going to cool down a little bit, but dew points will also lower a little bit. But before then, it's going to be very muggy. We're going to be in the uncomfortable side for the next three days. Low 70s potentially Thursday, Friday, and especially on Saturday. After that cold front moves through, upper 50s, low 60s. Not bad, but definitely want to be more towards that spectacular range. And unfortunately, we're back up on the horse there in terms of the humidity in the mid-60s expected for the start of the work week next week. What does that mean for our heat indices or peak heat index? Today, for our northern area, it's going to feel like the upper 70s, low 80s at best. But for our southern areas, where it's going to be a little bit warmer, it could be the mid to upper 80s there. Friday and Saturday, both spots could get close to 100, especially in our southern areas. Sunday, again, a little bit of relief, but still going to be warm in the mid to upper 80s, feels like. And then Monday, with that raised humidity, low to mid 90s, once again, feels like for Monday. So, again, it's summer. It's going to feel like this, but we're hoping for some relief here fairly soon. Your city by city forecast for Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City. So again, Friday for tomorrow, mostly in our northern areas. Our southern areas will probably be dry at least until Friday night. Saturday, I think will be a little bit better chance widespread, especially during the afternoon and evening hours. And then as we go through the rest of the 10 day, Sunday is dry. And really after Saturday, things calm down a little bit in terms of storms. Sunday and Monday are mostly sunny, but also on the hotter side. Tuesday, another chance of storms rolls through. And then it looks like for now, We'll get a little bit more seasonal with those conditions and rain chances pretty diminished by a little bit there for the upcoming week.